for some Mr. Namo. Oh, the streets are low. Streets, streets looking good, man. Crucial in the building, I mean, play zinc in a stunts. Yes, yes. So who's next? Come and say Deacon in the building, you don't know, aka stunts. You don't know the team, you know, big up everybody, we all listen right about now. Alright, alright. So, anybody in the building, man, listen, I want to congratulate y'all first and foremost when we get into the interview that this is a very good, the first two episodes I saw, very nice. Very nice, very choreographed, very... Everybody knew their lines, it didn't look like he was reading out the paper off the cue card. I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. No pausing, y'all know what y'all ain't came to do and y'all did it. That's all I want to tell y'all off, off that. Good luck. For me, for my opinion. All right. So, I mean, so who came up with the idea? Like, everybody's here, who came up with the idea? I mean, the idea stemmed from me. Uh, this is Jermaine speaking. Um, it's kind of crazy because I grew up in Queens. So I'm Jamaican, been here, like, oh my gosh, it's like... 1991 so I've seen it all from like the 90s up until now did a lot in the whole dance hall circuit so Jamaican to the fullest plus I have all my hip-hop you know we Jamaican so we know a lot of Yankee people so that's how it really is so just just dealing with those two different communities I just merged it together to show how it is when you migrate from Jamaica and you gotta like, you know, adjust a little and then dealing with the whole dance all life. And you know, you haven't seen all of it yet, but just how the Jamaicans and the Americans, you know, get together. And then it formed Sons of Kingston. I linked up, you know, people I knew who I've done business with, who I really respect. And they were like, yo, yo, we believe in you. So if you say it's a go, yo, let's do it. And then we did it. And yo, the rest is in the making, man. History in the making. That's why I like the head, man. That's why I like the head. So, so hot, like you, you alone came with the with the concept and the names and whoever else. So, like you already, yeah. you already knew the rest of the cast. Like you just, or you just like you know what, you fit this person that I'm writing for, or did you write it up, like around them? Um, basically, I wrote it, directed it, and the whole night. And so the thing is, I come across different people, different characters, and so forth. So, like Crucial, for instance. He has the whole look. He has the look of certain, just like, you know, just dark with the locks, he moves silent. But if you get to know him, he's not really like, like a Batman, like I'm gonna shoot you up. He's, yeah. he's, he's the lover, he's the lover, not a fighter. So it was just a matter of convincing him of like, yo, yeah, okay, channel everybody, you know, us, come on, we, we all know some dark people, some yeah. killers, some hustlers. It so good. it's more like, yo, flip side is a killer. You've been around flip side long. You, your looks, and and, 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 and and freaking um just you know just, act, get, act yeah, like the core just on. just just bring out the core yeah, of that yeah. person. I got yeah. you. Yeah, and then that's that's how we kinda did it because you know, they're not like trained actors or anything like that. Right. They just channel people. So me just being on different sets, whether it's music videos or other independent films, I kinda developed my directing skills. So it just took some time and they wanted to learn and they right. got it right back. They knocked it out the park, so we good. But yeah, it, it, it definitely guys, you definitely did a good job. I really appreciate <laughs> you. You did it. You, you did a good job. Like I, I watched it. Like when I got sent you know I get I, I get sent a lot of stuff. Music, videos, yo, listen look at this, watch this. And I'll be like Alright, but when when I saw it, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, you, when we got to talking about it, and I was, and I hit you back. I think I hit you back like twenty minutes later. I was like, yo, I think I watched the thing like twice, just like to make sure. Look, I ain't missed nothing. I know I was watching it, but then the second time, I was like, yeah, 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 I can get into this. You know what I mean? So nah, real, I can see it on like I can see it on Netflix. I can see it on Netflix. Get major views, but it's good. I mean, so tell me about your character. Well, my character. Name Zinc. Zinc. You know what I'm saying? Play a road boy. Stick up kid, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Start out as a stick up kid, but I want to elevate to get to a higher level. So right. I try to pull out bigger schemes instead of just um, robbing little local people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Going so, for the big heights. So, so, so is Zinc going to get like a crew? Like like something like the Y? You're going to get like a big crew? I mean, I don't want to give away any seasons. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, I said, stay tuned. Stay tuned, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, Grind FM, we will stay tuned. I mean, shout out to On the Ground and the Check In. They said they're going to be staying tuned and listening right now. So tell me about your character. You don't know it's stunts. You know stunts. Know. I'm the ladies' man, aka the hustler in the street. <laughs> <laughs> From what we watched, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know trying to get, you know, trying to get up in life, man. Trying to make you big, you know what I mean? Ah man, so so, so stunts is just like 
just like so I know there's a other guy there was a dark skinned guy what, yeah, what's his name Nico Nico that's, uh, DJ Prince DJ, DJ yeah. Prince okay cool so yeah he couldn't make it but it's cool yeah. shout out to him his character's like real smooth in the, in the scene just yeah, you know, yeah he yeah. just want to party and make the money that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's like it's like it's one of those things where it's like you know he said Zinc Zinc is a character who was just like yo he's trying to get up by any means necessary you know what i mean he yeah. started with him and before at first you see him you know he robbed a couple of people his dolo right the last one you see him called upon he called this his boy smokes right. saying that smokes is like yo man this this deal got to be worth it for me to jump on so he's like all right cool so the deal seems worth it now so now he's bringing on people so he's he's growing so you yeah. can see that that growth and stunts you know, we all know that people, you know, they get money, but they're not about that that killing life, so nah. to speak. They more just like getting money and they fly, they flash, you know, they get a lot they get a lot of girls. You enjoy that part of the hustling, but then you gotta deal with the dark side of the hustling. So it's just gonna show that character. Now, Nico, you know, the dark skin guy that yeah. you refer, yeah, he he's more like, yo, he likes to party, you know, he's in the mix, but you know when you're part of this whole nightlife, club life, you kind of find yourself in compromising situations, you know? The music is all good, it's all love, but you're surrounded by a lot of thieves, a lot of crooks, a lot of schemers. So we're gonna see how he reacts to that kind yes. of situation. So it's, it's, I grew up in the nightlife, man. Yo, man. It's, it's I know, crazy, I know. Man. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I grew up watching Hype Life TV, oh, right? seeing the stuff. <laughs> yo, we used to sit in the crib like, oh, yo, the new joint on. Okay, all right. Gonna throw it up on the TV like, yeah, we had the PS2 hooked up. We were watching, oh. on, the, we were watching on the internet. Like, yo, we watch it. And like and you would talk about all the type of even when Cartel went to jail, you was talking about we was, yo, we was watching. It, it was cool. Like me and my friends, like I said, I'm from Queens, but I live in Long Island. I mean the address changed, but I ain't gonna change. So Queens like anyhow. <laughs> so I mean, like I said, always been a fan. Oh, y'all always do your thing correctly, on point. I appreciate everybody for coming out tonight. You know what I mean? Cause I everybody knows I don't have too many guests, but when I bring guests up here, it's about that. You know what I mean? I promote it. It's about this. You know what I mean? Texas. I'm getting Texas everything right now. You know, <laughs> you know what's so crazy is like the whole hype life thing just started out as just, you know, just like a little hobby. And, you know, I did it for a while. I didn't even realize it. So whenever I come around people, especially the ones that are like doing anything, like, you, you know, DJ, you know, in, in the clubs hard, I just come around certain people and they always be like, oh, what's good? Yeah, yeah, I know you from Hype Life, you've been doing your thing. Like the other night, I ran into DJ Nori. Okay. And he's like, yeah, and, and it's in your someone. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. Because it's, <laughs> I keep forgetting, like, you know, I've been doing it for a while, and certain people give me, you know, a certain level of respect. But I'm, I feel like I'm at the bottom, and I'm just grinding. So it's like, ah, I gotta try extra hard, you know? Right. So, but but respect for the support, though. Nah, yeah. for all the time. So, I mean, so how, how has the fans, how, like, has the fans grew since y'all put the first two episodes out? Like, it's majorly? Or just yeah. a smidgen. Like, the first so, episode reached 10,000 views already. In wow. Right 10,000 views. 10, more, more. Yes. And, and this one about to hit five. We told them if they hit five, we'll start the production for three. So it's all about fan show support that we. we oh, give them the links. Give them the links. Say yes and give them the links. Yeah, definitely. If you're on Instagram right now, just uh, make sure you're following Sons of Kingston. Um, you can always log on to the website, sonsofkingston.com. That's S O N S. O F K I N G S T O N. Exactly the way the teachers taught us to spell it. Sonsofkingston.com. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, it's 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 always good to see refreshing shows. Like you know, we get tired of watching TV and watching movies, and I mean, it's just something fresh, something that is relatable because everybody parties. Everybody knows somebody who's a little gangster, a little tough, or does a little things that they don't have a job, but they gotta make ends meet and they make it meet. So everything in the show is just like, dang, son, I know a dude like that. And then I call the dude, I'm like, yo, you gotta watch this. And he like, yo, son, I, I, I probably would have done the same thing. Like when he like when he caught dude in the alley and he put the gun in his head, and I was like, he was like, yo, son. I definitely would have did that, but nah, it would have been like, it'd have been like, I would have ran up in the crib though, <laughs> cause it was more in the house. It was like, tell him stay tuned. But nah, I get, I'm getting, I'm trying to get everybody into it. Like I'm like, I got tons of group group chats, group chats that I have on my phone. I just send them stuff. And, yeah, they, the whole chicks from Long Island, they're like, yo, I want to see more, I want to see more. I'm like, yo, you just got to take it to them. I can't really say much. But follow their Instagram. You saw me, you likes the guy when I throw it out. I said, yo, go yeah. check it out. I ain't going to say much. You go check it out. So then people started going to it. That's, that's what I like. I like the support. I like the love. I like different stuff. And everybody's being creative. I like that. No. So, I mean, 
I mean, what do y'all like? Like, how far do you see it going? Like, would you make like make a full length movie? Put it out sometime. Put it like because you know a lot of people they make movies and they and they take they don't really do the Sundance, but they'll take it to like their local movie theater yeah. and show it, preview it for like about a week or two. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, and, and that's major. That's yeah. major. Like like the more the thing is. When I originally had the idea, I definitely wanted to do a movie, but I know just not having the resources to really go the movie route and just trying to test the idea, you know, so I just did the part one, you know, got a couple of people that respect me and be willing to do mm -hmm. it. They were down, people liked it. So the idea was to do three three parts and then go for a movie, you know what I mean? Because right. doing, doing the whole series thing is all cool, it's all good, but especially if you don't have like a really big market to watch it each and every week, mm -hmm. just getting 10,000 views would be like, okay, yeah, that's nice, but if you ain't getting the millions, it ain't worth it because it's, it's a lot of money time and all that stuff to do it so we really want to knock it out with a film and just you know just push it that way there's a lot of uh platforms online from the netflix to the, i'm learning a lot more especially since i've been doing it yeah that you can just reach it out to and just get people to watch it stream it you know pay, pay what they call it uh demand demand yeah, yeah on demand basically yeah. so that's really the kind of route i want to go once well, you get rating for it then yeah. they'll throw it up in there and they'll put in a mix on how long ever long you pay for it yeah of course yeah, i so mean it's it's always it's always a good outlet to take it that route where it's streaming like hulu they Hulu take a lot of lot of um independent stuff. Netflix definitely take they take independent stuff, but you have to have a certain amount of views and I like yeah. that. But where it's not like, oh, you could just put anybody can put anything up there that they made a black movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? They people from the hood, they like it. You know what I mean? But it has to be it, it has and, and the and here's the funny part, I don't wanna stereotype it, but White people are gonna love this because they it's something that they don't know nothing it's about. Raw, raw, they don't know raw. nothing about it. Like they don't they don't know about Jamaican party life. Yeah. They know what I'm saying? Yeah, so so they're like, they're gonna be like, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's relatable. Like just like how the wire went. I, I had to refer to it because that's like that was that was like the first like something that came out. Like either it was Philly, but it, it was like universal. Yeah, definitely. Like, it related to every hood, every every race, everywhere. Definitely. So something when I see like I said, when I see something like this. It's 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 eye catching. Yeah, like I, I look at it as hustle is a hustle. It don't matter which nationality you're from. That that overall trying to beat the odds. Yeah. They all have that similarity. So I have white friends, of course, black friends, Asian friends. So I know a lot of different demographics. So so it's like people can relate to the hustle, and yeah. it's like a different kind of story. You know, they'll love it. It just gotta be. It just gotta be hot. You know so, so so tell me um. Keep forgetting your name. I'm sorry. Real name. I don't want that. Decon. 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 All right. So, Decon. So, how have you have you even thought about doing this before he came to you about it? Um, we talk about it while he was shooting my first video. Okay. <laughs> oh, so you, are you an artist too? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So you, oh, you make music? Yeah. Just send me some music. Had to play some now. Definitely. Right. I, mean, right I see that you're an artist too. Yeah. yeah I yeah, see. I, think I, I see. I seen it early. I was just looking. I was like, oh, five songs in the studio. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Gotta send me some dubs now. Gotta yeah, send me some dubs now. All right. I got you. But um, like I see everybody has their own side. Hustle, so to say, they have, everybody has a talent, and this is so. This is like a different avenue for everybody. It's just like, but like, how do you like? W were you like a little nervous when you first did it, or it was just something that you just like you grew into it, just like something that you just like, like it was like water. It was like it was like riding a bike or something. I always wanted to do it, but you know, definitely, you know, like the first couple shot takes, you know, we gotta do it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Take one hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <for real. laughs> After a while, you know, shooting, then, you know, you get comfortable, but, you know, I, it almost happened, like, every time we shoot, you know, for the first couple of minutes, you know, you're kind of shaky, but, you know, after it goes along, then, you know, you okay. kind of get comfortable, you know? That's good, that's good. All right, so, I mean, we go, we, we go, we go get on real quick, play some mix real quick and let the and let the people let the people tell their friends that y'all up and up and live right now. So we're gonna get into some music real quick and we're gonna bring back Sons of Kingston. Alright people you already know it's grind FM just how we do it each and every Saturday 4 p.m to 6 p.m alright we not rock with that some of them not real for some of them more all the streets I love street streets looking good man <laughs> 